Good morning. It is Saturday, the 4th of June. Um, and I've just weighed in and I'm dressed, but I have my bikini on. I'm gonna go and do my check-in um, at King's because the lighting here is awful. Like even just for recording on my camera. So yeah, we're gonna go and check in in the posing room. Um, and then a three feed day for me and Christy. Eight. And it's our last day in London. Well, I say London, we're in Croydon, but it's our last day today, so really sad. But yeah, we have legs later. We just need to go and check in. I need to go and check in now because I'm really hungry and want to eat. Um, and then we're going to go to Morrison's and get the carbs that we need for the day. The weather is crap today, which is a bit annoying, but it's been so nice the last few days and we've got like, we did 28,000 steps yesterday and like 27 or 26,000 steps the day before because the weather was so nice. So we were just out and about. So we have weighed the most of it and we've been to Morrison's. We've, we haven't got all of the carbs that we need, um, but we've just got enough for our first meal. Um, so let me just get them out quickly. This kitchen is already a mess. So meal one, I'm having um, a whole bagel with bacon and um, two crumpets. So we've got loads of crumpets. This is like a pack of nine because Christy's having a refeed today as well, which is really nice because I've been having refeeds alone for a while since he started prep because um, he started well after I did. So I was having regular refeeds by that point when he started and he hadn't had one yet. Christy got himself some um, sausages for this morning, reduced fat ones, and he got himself some brown sauce. I'd never had brown sauce before I met him. Um, I don't know if people back home eat brown sauce. I don't remember ever having brown sauce in my house. Maybe we did, but I just never used it. Um, turkey mints for me, for my main meals. And, oh, this is what I'm most excited about. I haven't had butter in a long time. I got some Floralite for my crumpets for this morning. Um, 25 calories per 10 grams, I think it's like less than two grams of fat. Um, so I'm excited for that because I, yeah, I haven't had butter in a long time and I'm running low on skinny food jam so I need something to put on the crumpets and the bagels. Um, and I love a bagel or a crumpet with just butter and Floralite is so good. So yeah, I got that. Um, so yeah, I'll show you meal one. Christy's really, really happy with my check-in this week. Um, let me get my happy scale up. Um, I'll put it up on screen so you can see what I'm talking about as I'm looking at it, but So last Saturday I was 158.5 and this morning I was 154.1 um, But I actually hit 153.9 this week as well on Thursday. So yeah, I've dropped like five pounds four or five pounds in a week um, Which can happen sometimes my weight wasn't like dropping much for a while um, and yeah I tend to like fluctuate there they're about the same um, and then have like a big drop so yeah but we can definitely see it I'll put my check-in photos here and um, so you can see how I was looking this morning really happy um, I'm looking a little bit flat so my muscles are a bit flat especially like my delts and um, stuff like that. So that's the point of the refeed today just to fill me back out a little bit um, And yeah, we're 16 weeks out tomorrow. So we have a lot of time um, I'm a lot leaner than we thought I would be at this point 
um, a lot leaner. So yeah, I'm really happy. Um, I'm carrying most of my, like a lot of body fat still on my lower half, which is normal for females, glutes and hamstrings. Um, but you can really see it too much in the photos, but you could see it in in the mirrors um, and obviously in person um, that some fat is starting to come off my hamstrings. So my hamstrings are starting to peep through a little bit like my glute ham tie in. So that's really good because that's going to be a stubborn area and that'll probably come off last. So yeah, things are going in the right direction. I'm really happy. Um, I'm going to stop rambling now. Our plans for today, we've got to train legs. Um, we also want to go to Costco because we're having um, chicken wraps for our last meal, um, which you would have seen in one of my other refeeds that I'm obsessed with and Christy loves and we used to eat them all the time before we started prep. So he really wants them. Um, I was going to have burgers, but he wants to have wraps. So I'm happy to just have whatever he wants to have. So we're going to have those. But there's some chicken in Costco, like chicken tenders that he really likes from Costco. And there's one up the road. So we're going to walk there. Um, and then we're going to go into Croydon. I'm going to try and pick up some skinny food jam so I don't have to use um, butter for the rest of my meals. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's basically the plan. And I will show all my meals today. And we're going to train legs after we go to Costco. So we're going to try and train nice and early. Just walking. Okie dokie. Do you want to um, give your opinion on my check-in this morning? Yeah, you've dropped um, some more body fat. You're um, leaner again. We're starting to see leanness coming through in your uh, glutes and hammies. Um, just a little bit flat from obviously four weeks now. Pretty low carb. So we're just going to put some food back in and fill you up. Ready to push on again? Yeah. Okay, so that's it. I will show you guys my meal. Um, are you making the breakfast? Yeah. yeah. Christy's made my breakfast every day since I've been here. That's really nice. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the first. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Chris, you will share his refeed food today as well. So, what have you got for meal one? Um, extra low fat sausages with two bagels and three whole eggs. That looks so good. Wow. Costco <laughs> dog. So if you guys are interested. Oh my god, that looks so fucking good. That one looks very good. One of these yeah. ones? Yeah. Do you not like these ones? Yeah. Okay, we're back from Costco and we got our sushi we didn't get any chicken tenders but we're gonna get those later i'm gonna make me and christy's pre-workout now it's half one already so we need to go and train because we want to go into croydon after and do a couple of bits so i'll show you what we're having um for me and christy I've just made Christie's pre-workout, so this is what Christie's having. Um, he's got 50 grams of cream of rice, 100 grams of blueberries, 50 grams of whey, honey, and peanut butter. Thank you, Angel. There you go. Um, and then he's also got a very nice two crumpets with jam. There you go. <laughs> I'm gonna make my, my pre-workout now. Um, 75 grams of cream of rice, um, 40 grams of protein, 75 grams of blueberries. So 
So there's an extra 25 grams of cream of rice in here. I usually have 50. So I'm going to eat this and then we need to go and train. Okay, we are going to the gym. I've got my intra. We've run out of EAAs, so I'm hoping they have some of Kings, but if not, it doesn't matter. So there's just creatine and Hydromax in here. Christy has intracarb, creatine, and Hydromax from Strom. Um, I need um, 25 grams of intracarb to go in here, but we didn't we didn't know it was going to be refeeding today. And well, we weren't 100% sure it all depended on this check-in. So we didn't pack any extra intracarb. We literally just brought enough for Christy for the three training days. So I think they have some um, behind the reception at King's. If not, I'll just get a bottle of Luke's Aid Sport or something to drink during my session. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna get us some, or make us some pump. I got these from Pit Stop, a um, little sample. It's the Redcon Big Noise. Someone's phone's vibrating. It ain't mine, I think it's Christie's. Anyway, I got these samples from Neil in my Pit Stop order. Um, it's the Redcon One Big Noise Pump. So we're gonna try this, it's strawberry flavor, non-stim because we already had a Costa. So we're gonna do this. I'll film a little bit of the leg session if I can. I'd imagine it's gonna be quite busy in there today because it usually is in Kings on a Saturday. Um, so I'll do what I can. But yeah, let's go. back from our leg session and it's time for post-workout meal we have chosen um three different cereals well i've chosen two because i couldn't decide what i wanted so i found these in morrison's which i haven't had yet so i wanted to try it before i decide if that's what i'm going for and then weedabix crispy minis i'm fucking obsessed with these and i haven't had them in years but i don't know if i get a lot of volume out of these so we're gonna see i'm gonna try those and if i prefer these i'll have these um, and then Christy got the lion breast cereal. He really likes this one. So that's Christy's post-workout. And then I'm going to choose between these two. Drop a comment below and let me know what you would choose out of these. 
Um, and then I have a scoop of whey. I'm gonna have almond milk with my cereal and one bagel. So. Do you want to taste these? What's that one? Do you want to taste it? No, thank you. Oh my god, it's really good. Is it? It's really good, yeah. Excellent. You don't sure you don't want to try? Go on then. It's so crunchy. Mm. Not really my cup of tea. You don't like cinnamon stuff. Oh, now I can't decide. That's really annoying. Yeah. We're gonna go for this one because. cereal I've got a bagel with skinny food jam and um, my blended shake here oh, this is such a great meal there's loads of cereal here I think you understand how big this top is it's good Okay, I'm, I was really full after that meal, um, so we went for a walk. We went into Croydon because it's our last night in London, but we're really, really tired. We've done loads of steps, we've trained, um, and we just want to have a night in. So we went and bought some board games. So I bought um, Monopoly for us, and I got a Scrabble, and. Let me get the other one. You can all with that vein popping out my forehead. <sighs> Cluedo. These are the best board games. So I got them all. So we're gonna stay in tonight, play board games. Um, we went to Marks and Spencer's and got um, the stuff for our chicken wraps and I'm about to eat and my next meal. So I've got it all here. So I have, um, my usual turkey mince with green beans um, and then I have this sushi which I'll show you after. I'm going to eat the turkey mince first. Um, yeah, I am hungry now so I'm going to turn the TV on and eat. I've got another two meals after this so one um, meal which is another turkey meal and then I also have, we have our chicken wraps for dinner. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat this and then I'm not really that hungry. Um, I'm hungry for this meal now but like as in I thought I'd be like ravenous for this because um, my food's quite low at the moment and my weight's dropping loads. So I thought by the time a refeed came around, I'd be desperate for it, but I'm not. I'm just like, mm, I can eat and I can put it away, but I'm not like craving anything or like dying to eat. So that's a good, that's a good thing to be fair. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this. Okay, this is the sushi that I got. It's from Costco. I've had it before because Christy had it before and I had a bite of one of these ones. And it's very good, so I'm gonna eat this now. I'll open it and show you what it looks like. It's, it's fucking so it's a complex in the Middle East into perspective. If we don't get there early, Christine Kenyon will have had what we would look for. Daniel's looking for his toys. He wants there. I knew this would happen. Never mind about the past, Daniel. I'm gonna try the salmon one first because that's the one that I where like are, the least. Where are my toys? I gave your toys to the children's ward at the hospital. Oh, Polly, will you never learn? Right. But Daniel, about the bear. Oh, Daniel. So much 
people drop. Where can you come out to them? Yeah. 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 Um, this is how much of mine I've eaten already. It's really good. That looks really great. I think some wedges need a bit more time. We can just... Right. I'm done. Um, I had one wrap, five wedges, <laughs> and then like half of a second wrap. And I literally can't eat anymore. I'm so full. I'm done. I'm supposed to have another meal, turkey meal, uh, with one bagel and one crumpet, and I'm not having those. I've had enough food. So yeah, that's my reefy done. Christy's also fucking stuffed. What did you have? What, just then? Yeah. Two wraps and about five wedges. Pathetic. This is like <coughs> from two people who have had this meal many times. Mm. And I would usually eat three wraps and like a load of... Well, we, we never actually used to have wedges or anything with it. No, we didn't. No. But I'd easily eat like three wraps. Christy would have about four or five. And he's just had two. I was actually shocked. Um, but yeah, I am really full. Um, I think we, next time, obviously I've been used to eating like very little amounts of food. So my stomach's just not able to handle this amount of food, this volume. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to force feed myself because that's just silly. Um, so yeah, um, I think next time we might spread it over two days. We did talk about doing that before, but it just made sense to do it this way today because we're all together and stuff we were going to put some crabs in tomorrow but we're just going to see i think i've had enough to be honest so yeah we'll just see be interesting to see what i weigh in the morning um i did pack as well so i've done most of our packing for tomorrow because we go back um we're gonna let the food settle and then probably play a game for a bit we just need to decide what game to play <laughs> Just really nice. It was nice that we walked to the gym together every morning. We walked to the gym. Together. 
together every afternoon to train. We went into town, went for a drink, and we had a cozy night in. And yeah, it was just really, really nice to just be together and not not really do much, but just to do nothing together. But yeah, we don't really have anything else planned now, and we probably won't be going on any like more weekends away or anything until after the shows. Um, it's not definitely not anywhere as far away as as London. Um, that's why I booked it when I did because yeah, it's just it's too much of a drive and. I feel fucked from it, so does Christy. Yeah. I mean, six, seven hours in the car is not, it's not ideal. It is a rest day today, I'm back on normal food, so I've had two meals. I do have a third meal with me in the car, but basically I packed all of the spices away. Um, so Christy prepped my turkey mince for me while I was doing steps this morning, and all the spices were in the boot of the car. So it's plain, it's making me feel like I'm gonna heave, so I'm talking about it. Just yeah, the turkey mince is just plain, um, with no spices or anything in it. It's just it's just pure white, and it looks a bit gross. And I was eating it earlier, and it was making me feel really ill. So I'm not going to eat that um, until I get home and I can put something on it. So I thought I'd just add a little outro to the um, vlog that you've just watched. Um, it's actually Friday, the tenth. So it's almost a week since we've been back. We came back on Sunday. Um, and yeah, I just, I never finished off the vlog. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. We had a really, really great time. Um, all week I've felt really good since having that refeed, to be honest. I looked a little bit better. I did some posing practice the other day. Um, and my weight was up on Sunday morning by four pounds from all of those carbs. And then on Monday morning, it was back down to what it was on my check-in day on Saturday. So yeah and then um wednesday thursday i think i did some posing and i did look a lot better um my delts and stuff looked a little bit fuller so obviously the refeed did its job but we're actually going to be having another one this weekend um i have hit a new low since then as well um like another two pound drop which was yesterday morning um so yeah that's basically it um i will be vlogging again tomorrow because I'm going to see Sophie for routine practice, which I'm really excited for. And me and Christy are gonna be having another high carb day. So I'll vlog it all. So that will be in next week's vlog. So yeah, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel, um, like the video, drop a comment below if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.